guys, welcome back to some more American Truck Simulator. I am Moose78, and this is my ATS Let's Play series, Stories from the Road. Typically upload this twice a week, usually on a Tuesday or Thursday. A lot to go over today, guys, so let's just jump right into it. But first, we are in the Freightliner Classic XL today. Take a look at the interior real quick. Got uh, the SEI custom steering wheel. Let's just a quick look around the truck. But, uh, yeah, so, a lot been going on lately. Uh, one thing to go over first, though, I want to give you guys a huge thank you. Uh, just recently hit a big milestone on the channel. Over 500 subscribers now. So that is pretty stinking awesome. And I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Just greatly appreciate the support. Everyone tuning in every time I upload, checking out the videos, liking, sharing, all that stuff. So thank you guys for that. But, uh, yeah, the uploads have been pretty sparse here lately. Just a lot going on outside the old YouTube community here. Uh, the work schedule has just been kind of all over the place. Hopefully, you know, that's going to settle down here, you know, real soon. I can get back to kind of some form of normalcy. Kind of see how that plays out here over the next couple days. But, uh, hopefully... You know, hoping next week to get back to, you know, my regular upload schedule. But uh, appreciate your guys' patience throughout this uh, little bit of a uh, bumpy time. There we go. Kind of knocking off the rust a little bit. Got to get the timing down. But uh, we're over here in Phoenix today. We're going to grab a container, make a quick run. I think we're going down to Tucson. We'll double check that once we get our uh, trailer picked up. Got some new mods installed. The mod. There we go. Get a gear. Uh, got the mod spreadsheet updated. It is currently up to date with everything. Then I also have listed on there whether it's compatible with, you know, 1.4 and all that stuff. Uh, a couple of you had asked about the utility reefer. I'm still working on that. Haven't had a whole lot of time, like I said, with the uh, work schedule the way it's been here lately. Uh, not had a whole lot of time to sit down and, you know, play really anything. So... But I have kind of worked on it kind of here and there a little bit, trying to get all that figured out. So again, thank you for your patience with that. And I'm noticing one thing that I forgot to add on the uh, Classic XL here when I was uh, picking it out and everything are my spot mirrors. Which really would have helped me out right there. basically just going to kind of throw out a channel update in this video as well. Um, I know over the last few weeks I've been talking about adding additional content to the channel. Uh, that's kind of on the back burner for the interim until, you know, this whole work situation kind of works itself out and, uh, you know, kind of get my schedule ironed out. I'm just going to mainly focus on the ATS content. hit this ramp okay there and we did there we go but uh yeah I still want to get some additional content up on the channel but uh, you know like I've said before you know don't don't worry the ATS content is not going anywhere You know, that's, that's the bread and butter of the channel. Uh, ever since I started, you know, producing and posting ATS content. Oh, it's probably been 
four months or so ago, four or five months ago, I've really seen a lot of positive growth on the channel. You know, obviously it's a uh, game I enjoy playing. Obviously you guys enjoy watching it, so, you know, that's going to be the feature content here on the channel, but I wouldn't mind to mix something, uh, something else in a little, little bit uh, kind of here and there. I have been playing a little bit of a GTA 5 via LS PDFR mod for that. When I have some time, I think I pretty much got all that sorted out. There we go. There is our container. Yeah, just going down to Tucson. So, quick little run today. But I did want to get a video out to you guys. Let you know what's going on. Where I've been. And just uh, see what you guys have been up to. You know, Battlefield's coming out here in a couple weeks. Wouldn't mind to get some Battlefield content up on the channel. Maybe here and there. If that's something you guys are interested in. Yeah, just that mirror. Oh, look at that. Got it on the first try. I will take that all day long. Just need to bring that mirror in just a skosh. There we go. Okay. Well, hooked up good. Trailer brakes are working. Pull up here just a little bit. Do a quick pre-trip. Four ways of working on the tractor. Working on the trailer. Looks like all our lights are working on the trailer and on the tractor. So let's get trucking down to Tucson. Been keeping my eyes peeled though to uh, see if there's been any updates on the map rescale. Haven't seen anything, at least as of uh, you know the time I'm sitting down to record this video. I've not seen any any new updates. You know, it could be very well after I get this done, recorded and uploaded, they could come out with a big announcement. So, if that is the case, I will try to get a video out for that as soon as I can. I do have some stuff that I still want to work on for ATS outside of just the uh, Stories from the Road Let's Play series. Uh, a couple people are still hitting me up on you know graphic settings and all that stuff. I want to try to get that video out this weekend. Uh, not going to make any promises. You know, again, not to beat a dead horse, but that work schedule right now is just, just kind of wonky. Uh, if anything, if I don't get that up this weekend, I should be able to get that up uh, next week sometime. So again, just be a little bit patient, and uh, that is coming sooner than later. Definitely want to get that information out to you guys um, and kind of help you out there if I can. there. Do 
Oh, uh, someone mentioned something about uh, turning on my four ways as I get on the ramp. To, uh, see if that helps with the merging and stuff like that. So we're gonna give that a shot. See how that helps. I think I turned them on too late uh, for the UPS guy to get over. But uh, when I hopped on the other day, checking out some of the mod sites, I was glad to see the Classic XL up for download. Uh, it's definitely a truck I like. I like it a lot. I think this is a pretty good looking model, pretty clean. Not sure if this is a conversion from the old rig and roll model. I know the interior is, just looking at the textures. But I'm not sure if this is the one that uh, 5150 released back in the day for hauling. But uh, something a little bit different. Uh, definitely want to get some Freightliner stuff on the channel. And actually, I'm hoping, really hoping that uh, one of the next next trucks they release for the game is the Cascadia. I know a lot of people are really excited, you know, and hoping that uh, the 389 gets released. But, uh, man, I want to see that Freightliner Cascadia release before that. Get something a little bit different in the game. You know, I know there's a couple aero trucks in the game now with the 579 and the 680. Man, the Cascadia is just a sweet looking truck in my opinion. And I think we need a Freightliner in the game. Sorry guys, I'm not gonna get over because I can't. Sure, what this cat's doing. Doing 30 on the interstate, that's kind of safe. But yeah, like I said, for the interim, it's just going to be, you know, the same old, same old ATS content going up. Then uh, maybe, you know, towards the end of the year, maybe towards the end of the month. Like I said, it's kind of a, uh, you know, to be determined right now, but uh, definitely want to get. Uh, wouldn't mind at least try to get uh, some of the LSPDFR content up on the channel. I think you guys would enjoy that. Uh, you know, I've definitely enjoyed playing it. Just all the different mods and scripts out there for it are pretty cool. Is that something I wouldn't mind sharing with y'all? Too early, or what am I doing? It looks like I maybe jumped off an exit too early. That's okay, though. Not a problem. But it's definitely good to be back in ATS. It looks like I'll probably just stay right here in the uh, exit only lane, so not a problem. But no, it's good to be back in ATS. Been playing a little bit here and there. Played it a little bit over the weekend, had some time to do that. Tried to sit down and record some stuff the other day, but uh, The Windows update came through, and I thought I came through that relatively unscathed. Man, did I jump off on... Okay, I thought that was the exit, but apparently not. So we'll get back out on the interstate, and uh, yeah. But I thought I had escaped the latest Windows 10 update relatively unscathed. You know, the G27 software was working fine. Track IR was working fine. The SKRS was working fine. So I sat down to record probably about an hour's worth of content, went to edit it, and no sound whatsoever. I was like, what? So I checked out OBS, and of course, all my OBS settings got wiped. So I had to go back and reconfigure OBS. Wasn't a huge deal, just kind of frustrating though. But yeah, third time's the charm, and I think uh, I think we got a I think we got one here.
trying to get used to this uh, GPS. There we go. Pretty clear. I don't know why, though, but uh, as you can, uh, the exits and everything in uh, Arizona kind of throw me off. This is the exit we want. Or is it? No, it is not. What the frig? Am I going blind or something? Or... Now we'll just go down here. Turned around. Yeah, I'm not really. I mean, other than what I played this weekend, which wasn't much, like maybe an hour or so, I have not had an opportunity to sit down and play a whole lot of ATS lately. So, just getting all the rust and everything knocked off. So, just bear with me just a little bit. If anything, I'm getting good practice on uh, my ramp approaches and everything like that, so that's not a bad thing. But as you guys have probably noticed this episode, got a couple different mods installed. Uh, got a couple of Jazzy Cat mods installed, his uh, cargo pack, and uh, you see the Saiya truck going there. I also have uh, his Jazzy Cat's painted AI Thanks. Uh, I didn't turn my flashers on. Kind of forgot to do that, but still. I mean, come on. But I got uh, Jazzy Cat's uh, painted truck and trailer AI mod, which is pretty cool. I think it just kind of helps that immersion factor a little bit, so you're not just seeing all these plain AI trucks. Either actual uh, painted company trucks and trailers, so that's pretty cool. one of my favorite uh, engine sounds. This is the uh, N14-600 chipped. By uh, Creech Bomb. The engine sounds great. The Jake brake sounds amazing. Turn right. We are turning right. It looks like check here. It looks like we're just going to uh, Walmart here. Is that it? Yeah. Yep. So all in all, not a bad, bad little run. Got a little mixed up and uh, took a couple exits that I wasn't supposed to, but nothing too serious. And I actually kind of am in a hurry right now. I'm actually getting ready to leave for work, so I'm going to choose that. Hop back out here and uh, sign off. But uh, guys, it's good to be back at ATS. Like I said, hopefully can get back up to my regular upload schedule next week. Uh, this is probably going to go up on a Thursday this week. So, again, thanks for your patience, and as always, thanks for your support, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. If you like today's video, give a like and a share, it just helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But guys, I'm going to cut on out of here, into the next video, stay safe out there, 
take care, and we will be seeing ya. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, follow the link down in the video description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, then be sure to check out my No Scope Gaming Glasses affiliate link also down in the video description. And lastly, I upload three days a week, so be sure to check down below for my various content playlists for any videos you may have missed. Until the next video, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you.